morning, Miss Washington. I'm Jennifer. I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm going to check your vitals. So, your name is Jennifer? My name's Jennifer, Jennifer, correct. Please don't let them put me on. Don't let them put you on a, on a vent. On a vent? Please. Okay. I'm going to let the doctor know what your vitals are, okay? All right. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay. So tell me about the patient who just came in by rescue. She's a 72 year old with shortness of breath, probably due to congestive heart failure. And what are we doing for her? She's on maximum oxygen and a cold respiratory therapy to bring a ventilator. Anything else? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what medication she's taking. Um, she can barely talk, but I do know that she does not want to be put on life support. What about her old records? I still don't know. I've left a message for her son. Um, I tried to get a hold of him. She left her cell phone at home. And it's Saturday, and the primary care's office is closed today. Fed one's oxygen saturation is dropping. We need to do something. Okay. okay. This is just a dramatization, but it, fortunately it happens too often in emergency departments across the country. A patient comes in with little or no information, and doctors don't have the information they need to save a life or make the best decisions. That's why we're asking for your help. There are ways to make sure your vital information gets to the caregivers who need it most before making a decision on how to treat you or your family member. Call it your emergency go bag and put it together even if you're healthy. Here's what you'll need. A current list of your medicines and allergies. Bring your medication bottles if possible. A list of any health issues you have and past surgeries or treatments. A list of your doctors, primary care and specialists with contact phone numbers. A copy of any advanced health directives such as living will, healthcare surrogate, power of attorney, or allow natural death forms. The names and contact information for two to three family members or friends that you'll want to help make important medical decisions if you are too sick to make them for yourself while in the ER or hospital. It's important that your family or friends know where to find this information and your emergency go bag. The time to talk about your wishes regarding life prolonging procedures, your health care surrogate, and other important decisions is not when you are in the emergency department meeting your doctor and nurse for the first time. It's right now, so please help us help you.